Hello curious people on popular demand we are starting a new series on ancient indian dynasties and if we have to talk about dynasties of bharat how can we leave the bharata dynasty out of it because after all we are called bharat because of them and just to clarify bharata dynasty has nothing to do with lord ram's brother bharata as we'll be talking about the prehistoric time the source for this video will be the puranas and the rigvedas so let's start according to vishnu puran The Bharata dynasty's rule extended from the north of the ocean to the south of the Himalayas, which includes almost each and every state of India. The Bharatas were the ancestors of Kurus and Pandavas, the main protagonist of Mahabharat. Interestingly, Mahabharat means Great Bharat because all the kingdoms of Bharat were involved in the war of Kurukshetra. So the first king of Bharata dynasty was Sudas, who was son of Divyadas. and the area that he ruled is in kurukshetra which is in today's haryana he was the main protagonist of the battle of 10 kings or yudh dashrajne rigveda chapter 7 is dedicated to the rise of bharata clan to a dynasty and just to clear one more misconception that battle of 10 kings doesn't mean that there were actually 10 kings who fought against sudasa the word used in rigvedas is dashrajne where dasha or shatak in rigvedas were used to define massive or a lot so you can see on your screen right now the list of all the kings who participated in the war before the dashrajna period the bharatas purus and anus jointly defeated the turavasus and yadu clan in the battle of harupriya this battle is significant because it showed that purus and anus were actually allies of bharatas after the battle of harupriya the bharatas expanded their territories towards west under the guidance of vishwamitra They crossed the river Vipas and Satudri, today's Bias and Satluj. But they didn't have to fight any battles because King Sudasa performed the Ashwamedh Yagya. It was a practice that even continued till medieval time. The king would release a horse and let it roam free in the territories he wanted to capture. If the horse passed through a territory without being captured, then that territory would automatically become part of his kingdom. Ashwamedh Yagya was completed successfully, and he expanded his territory. Four to five times, but Vishwamitra was banished by the Bharatas and replaced with Vishistha as their priest. But Vishwamitra was not happy about being banished by the Bharatas and being replaced with Vishistha as their priest. So he got together with neighboring kingdoms and tribes to form a powerful confederacy against the Bharatas. This war had several key battles, but the final one at the river Ravi was decisive. According to Rig Vedas, the ten kings attempted. to construct a dam to divert the water of river ravi but their plan failed most of their troops drowned puru lost their king and bharatas captured all the kingdoms settling in kurukshetra later puru and bharata emerged to form the kuru dynasty the dynasty of kurus and pandavas now after the battle of 10 kings some of the clans had to leave their home and migrate to new places one of these clans was the yadu clan and they traveled eastward to a place called mathura there they set up their kingdom under the leadership of bharatas later on the yadu clan would be known as yaduvanshis today they are known as yadavas and lord krishna became the crown king and assisted the pandavas in the kurukshetra war the druyus and anu clans migrated to the northwestern part of pakistan after their defeat with anu taking over punjab and sindh while druyu occupied today's afghanistan and became known as gandharas it was always interesting to note that one of the gandharas princes was married to kuru king dashratha as recorded in puranas and mahabharata the pakta clan moved even further from druyus and settled in persia later becoming known as pashtuns or pakhtuns matsya settled around chambal river and became allies of bharata participating in the kurukshetra war as documented in the mahabharata as we move forward in our series we'll dwell into the formation of 16 janpadas in the 600 bc so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our next video and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so that everyone can learn about our rich history thank you for watching and until next time stay curious